Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I upload a new video at least once a week, so if you haven't already, now is a great time to subscribe so you can stay on top of all of those new videos. Today I'm trying a brand new tea brand that I've never tried before. They are called Free Your Tea. I believe they do a subscription service, but they reached out and asked if I'd be interested in trying some of their teas and sharing them on camera with you. So I'll just do a quick little like haul of what they sent me and then we will get into tasting one of the teas and seeing everything there is to learn about the brand Free Your Tea. So first and foremost, they sent these two bags of uh, disposable tea filters. These are really great for traveling, but I always use a metal basket infuser when I'm at home. They sent me five teas, which is a ton. Um, so we have Himalayan Spice which sounds kind of like a chai. Moroccan mint number three. I love a Moroccan mint. Fujian autumn oolong. Um, this one is just a straight oolong, which I love. Nilgiri black blend. This one is a blend of straight black teas. And Chun Mi number two, which is a Chinese green tea shaped like precious eyebrows, which I have some of those myself. I love my eyebrows. <laughs> um, so this is me as a tea, basically. I think I wanna try the Fujian Autumn Oolong today. So let's get that steeping before we get too into anything else. I have my clear glass mug so we can really see the color of the tea and my metal basket infuser, which I sell on Amazon. Metal basket infusers are my absolute essential. I'd love to have like my own brand of tea and teaware someday. And this is my first product because I was like, what is it that everybody needs? If you're gonna start like getting really into tea, like how I am, like what is it that it, you need to have? And that was my answer, the metal basket tea infuser. So you can pick up one of those in the link in my description, but I'm just gonna scoop some tea right into there. Pour in our hot water. And now we can set it aside and learn everything there is to learn about Fuji and Autumn Oolong and free your tea. You really can't go wrong with a straight oolong. They're just the absolute best. And it says a toasty oolong with a beautiful amber color. This is a solid introduction to oolong as a tea variety somewhere in between green and black tea. And that's perfect. A lot of people like, if you're not into tea, a lot of people don't know what oolong is. So that's how I always explain it. Like when I meet somebody and they're not a tea person, if they ask me like, what's your favorite kind of tea? Sometimes I say oolong um, and they're like, oh, I don't even know what that is. So I always say it's like lighter than a black tea, but more oxidized than a green tea. It's somewhere in between a green or black tea. And I love oolongs that are like rolled into these little balls because as the tea steeps, they open up and become like their big leaf selves and it's so magical to see. So I'll definitely be pulling out an opened leaf to show you. But here's how it looks all together all on the plate. Nice dark colored leaves, a little hints of greens and lighter browns, but it is like pretty darkly oxidized and again in that ball shape that I love. And they sent me this pamphlet. It is sort of an introduction, it looks like, to the brand. It says, welcome to Free Your Tea. We look forward to discovering and delivering teas tailored to your tastes. Open to learn more about how to get the most out of your personalized tea subscription. So they are a subscription-based tea brand. So they'll send you different teas every month. And let's look at this. There's like sort of a chart about how to do it. And I haven't done this part. They just sent me these teas. I haven't like signed up for the subscription or anything quite yet. This is my first time trying it, but I love tea subscriptions. It's a great way to really start your tea journey and get opened up to trying more teas. Cause like I was lucky, 
I always liked tea, so I'd just like buy what sounded good, like when I'd go into a tea shop. But then I started to work at a tea store and it was actually part of our job to try every tea that we carried. So I got to really like, really learn my tastes and really like find what I like by trying over a hundred different teas. But your average person doesn't like get to do that you know like if you're at home it's not like you can just buy a hundred different teas and try them all so that's why like subscription based services are so great because you might have never even tried like a certain type of tea and you might have not even thought of it but then you might receive it in a subscription box and you realize like that's your favorite tea of all time. So I love the concept of tea subscriptions. So how to get the most out of your subscription in five steps. Initial sampler. The initial sampler that you receive is designed to get you to taste some fairly different teas and rate them at freeyourtea.com slash ratings. So it looks like there's like a one to five rating system. One is like strong negative and number five is strong positive. Like if you really hate a tea, you would give it a one and then hopefully they'd never send you it again. If you're like kind of, you know, it's all right, you'd give it a three, like a neutral. And then if you love it, you give it a five. And then they have a section for sharing your preferences. Your monthly or quarterly tea shipments are tailored to your taste based on your ratings and preferences. And then as you go, you kind of on, you do ongoing ratings. So you, whatever new teas you receive, you rate them and they personalize based upon that information. And then there is some steeping advice on the back here, but I would like to look at their website and see if they have like a backstory, like an about us, if you will. I love this like heart-shaped like bowl theme. Like they have all their teas like arranged in heart-shaped bowls and that's so cute. So there's all different programs based on like how long you want to receive teas, how much tea you want to receive. There's a caffeine free option. I personally like my caffeinated teas so I specified that. But I want to see the about. Like how did they think to start this? Who are they? For your tea founder, I think the name is pronounced Nud. K-N-U-D? New? Nud? Berklinson started Free Your Tea in order to bridge the gap between the high quality teas grown in places like India and China and tea lovers that exist in all corners of the world. As a passionate tea enthusiast, he was frustrated with how much harder it is to discover and experience high quality teas than, for example, specialty coffee and craft beer. He wanted to provide the opportunity for anyone to break away from the ordinary teas found in boxes and bags at the grocery store and discover new favorite teas. They are personalized, sustainable. It says we work with suppliers to ensure teas are grown and processed in sustainable ways and high quality. We source teas from wherever the best teas are to be found like China and India. We're on a mission to share the warmth, encouragement, and wonder of a cup of great tea by discovering and delivering the highest quality teas. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our infuser. I'd say we are about ready to try it, but not without taking a look at those leaves, of course. Looks like they are a bit hot, so I'm gonna have to be a little careful but see the leaves like open up into like a whole leaf. Um, so they go like from that little ball to spread their wings out into these big, beautiful tea leaves. But let's go ahead and try it. That's a solid oolong. It has that like deep note, you know? It's just perfect. It is the perfect introduction to an oolong. But I would say that this is like the perfect middle of the road oolong. So it really is like just a great straight tea. Oolong has such a like special flavor to it. Like has that like, is it, the umami notes, like that really like, like that richness that green tea doesn't have, but like in a more subtle way than a black tea, like it just has such a depth of flavor. 
And I do love that they acknowledge like this is the perfect like solid introduction because oolong is actually the most diverse of the tea types. Like there are oolongs that are like kind of on the edge between like a, a green tea and an oolong where it's more lightly oxidized and you do get kind of those greener notes. Then you have like perfect middle of the road like this. And then there's more deeply oxidized oolongs that are closer to a black tea. So for me, I like to stick around like the middle or the greener side. I don't prefer like the really dark oolongs. I love this. This is beautiful. It's a Fujian autumn oolong, nice and toasty like that. It's like that roasty flavor that you don't get from a green tea, even like a roasted green tea. like. It's um, it's just so much richer and more complex and deeper than what a green tea is without being as like deep as a black tea. So I'm not sure if this is like the typical like introduction box. I think this is sort of what they send everybody. And honestly, I think this really gives a great jumping off point for someone who's brand new to tea. So like if you've never, if you're just like getting your foot in the door, like you know like you've had a couple teas you've liked before but you don't know where to go next, like you don't know what to even try, there's this straight oolong, which could very well be like your first foray into an oolong. Then there's a Himalayan spice, so similar to a chai. You can get to know if you like a spicy tea. There is a plain black tea, so you get to know like what a black tea on its own tastes like. The chun mi is a Chinese green tea. Again, another straight tea to show like if you like green tea or not. And then the Moroccan mint, green tea with peppermint leaves. So it's kind of that herbiness. You can see if you like mint. So I think this is a great concept. A really cool jumping off point for someone who is closer to the beginning of their tea journey. So I do have a code if you are going to shop for your tea. It's Dana Tea, all one word. So make sure to put that in at checkout or use my links in my description if you don't mind so I can get a couple dollars commission with no, like obviously no extra charge to you guys. But I, I like this. I think this is a cool brand, a really nice like introduction kit. Uh, that I think a lot of people could really benefit from. It would make a cool gift for like, you know, like as tea people, I feel like we all have that friend who's like, you know, I like tea. I just, I don't know much about it. I'd like to, I'd, I'm interested in learning more. This would be a good gift for that friend, you know, someone who really wants to be like on that level of knowing a lot about tea, but is not quite there yet. Uh, this is a great introduction. So I'm gonna go like hang out and relax and enjoy the rest of this cup of oolong because I love a straight oolong. It's a bit of a gloomy day, so perfect for just chilling on the couch with this. Um, but I hope you and your families are all staying safe and healthy. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.